In this video we are going to see what happens when you mix a strong concentrated acid with a strong concentrated base. So here I have some acetic acid, phosphoric acid, hydrochloric acid and sulfuric acid in the order that I will be performing the experiments in. And so that I don't have to worry about my eyes, I've got here some base to neutralize. Well, safety goggles might do a better job of that. Ow. The base we'll be using is sodium hydroxide, which is a very strong base that is commonly available in things like drain cleaner. To make this even more interesting, we are going to do the reactions on a kilogram scale. This is go big or go home. In order that we are able to compare the different acid strengths, I will use the same number of acid molecules for each reaction. Let's start with one kilogram of glacial acetic acid, which is basically the acid of vinegar at 100% concentration. Great, the acetic acid partially froze in the bottle. It's always fun. And now it's freezing in the bucket. To that we'll be adding 666 grams of sodium hydroxide, which is one equivalent. Now doing stuff like that is obviously relatively dangerous, so I'm doing this with this special apparatus. The acetic acid is down here in this plastic bottle, so we don't have any glass. That means we are not going to have any flying shrapnels. Then I've put water around the plastic container to avoid it from melting, because this might get really hot. And I've got here the string to drop all the sodium hydroxide in the acetic acid, so it can be far away. Okay, glacial acetic acid versus solid sodium hydroxide. Let's go. Okay, that was... <laughs> Quite anticlimactic and also a very delayed reaction. The bucket has gotten quite soft and I can still smell the acetic acid like crazy. Now let's try this again with a different apparatus. This time I've dissolved the uh, 666 grams of sodium hydroxide in an equal amount of water, which resulted in the syrupy solution. So let's now pour in one kilogram of concentrated acetic acid. And up here I will be pouring in the concentrated sodium hydroxide solution. Woo! Okay. That was already a lot better. Wow, this smells really awful. I guess the water really helped to catalyze and speed up the, the, the reaction. Before it was just a slow solid state reaction and its solution could appear much faster. This is 1920 grams of 85% phosphoric acid and 666 grams of solid sodium hydroxide. Let's go! Okay, so the high viscosity of the phosphoric acid and the solid state of the sodium hydroxide made the reaction really slow. So let's try again with a solution of sodium hydroxide. Okay, that was already on a different level. Jesus. Okay, next on the list is 2 kilos of 30% fuming hydrochloric acid with 666 grams of sodium hydroxide. Okay, well, the water helped catalyze the reaction a lot. That was epic. This has created now a whole bunch of table salt down here. But I would not want to eat that. Now for the grand finale, we get here 1700 grams of concentrated 96% sulfuric acid. Now, what would happen when I put some paper in there? This is the real deal. It immediately eats the paper. It's seven orders of magnitude, or 10 million times stronger than the acetic acid we started with. Okay, here we go. 1700 grams. 96% concentrated sulfuric acid with 666 grams of pure sodium hydroxide. Wow! Okay, that was 
absolutely insane. <laughs> I hope it's not going to get way worse with the sodium hydroxide in solution. <laughs> My gosh, quite a while later this is still fuming profusely. Now for the ultimate reaction, sodium hydroxide concentrate solution versus 96% sulfuric acid. Wow! Okay. That was insane. If you want to see more content like that, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss it. Make sure to leave a like and a comment about what was your favorite reaction and thanks a lot for watching. What you saw on the thumbnail was just colored water. So I tricked you. <laughs> anyway. <laughs>